All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to Pain Collectibles, everybody. We have another one of my favorite suitcase boxes to open in the world. It is another than another XM suitcase box. Now this, my friends, is XM Rogue. This is number 33 out of 899. Not too many people have this yet. I've only seen maybe one or two people post their photos. So I don't think anyone's even done their video review. So I think I should be first, but we'll see. This was a sleeper, man. It's December 21st over here in the US. It's basically Christmas. Um, we really didn't hear anything about this piece other than the release photos for PO and the original schedule for this was supposed to be sometime in 2022. So I really wasn't expecting to see this show up to anybody until I don't know, May or June next year. This actually wasn't on my radar. I was kind of on the fence about this and there were other things that I kind of wanted more. It, it's a really cool looking piece. It looks like the portraits are really awesome. My wife is a big fan of Rogue from the X-Men cartoons as a kid. So I wanted to get something that the both of us can enjoy. This is XM Rogue. This is Pain Collectibles. So let's get to it. Alright guys, kudos to XM this time for keeping the bases and the boxes small. Shipping on Rogue and on Psylocke by the way was probably some of the cheapest I've ever paid for air shipping. And as usual, it is an XM piece so with it you get the fabulous art print. And you get your one sheet assembly instructions. Look like this is a very simple piece, only a few pieces which is awesome. Wabam! Wabam! You know I like them plaques! And you know how much I absolutely love these things. That is just gorgeous. This is the main reason I got this piece. To demonstrate Rogue's powers. And we'll talk more about that later. But this is gorgeous. She's got Colossus and Wolverine's Bone Claws. From the promo pictures, it looked like they were maybe his metal adentanium claws, but these are his bone claws. This is the arm where she's ripped off the sentinel, bot, sentinel part. Really good shadowing on the detail in the paint job. Weathering on the metal looks awesome. Look at the detail on the costume part. You've got that honeycomb texture that's prevalent in all of the XM female statues. Piece of metal. This is another piece of the base, but next to the base in that little nook and cranny there, you've got this piece of metal, and you also have again its card, which is really tiny, and you do not want to miss, like overlook this. It's got a really cool X-Men symbol on the back. And this is Bates. I like the shadowing on the card that wasn't there in the promo picture. And there we go. And this is first portrait. I really love this. This look at how beautiful she is. And as usual, XM does an amazing job with the way they sculpt hair. And this portrait, I actually really, really like. From the pictures and the original promo PO pictures, I really didn't think I would like this, but. Even this is a little bit different from some of the reviews that I've seen out there. Like the expression's a little bit different. It's actually a lot prettier. Alright my friends, this is worth it. Look at the body. The There are a lot of other rogue statues out in the market, but sculpted jacket. Now this is what I'm talking about. Look at the detail on this. This is gorgeous. And of course, we can't forget the booty. Hashtag the booty. This is the other arm holding the piece of sentinel that she has completely ripped up and destroyed. As usual, beautiful stellar paint work and detail work and shadow work from XM. Alright guys, as usual, 
that's going to be too heavy. I'm not going to lift that up. We'll go straight into the assembly. So the overarching theme behind this unboxing is just in all of the little details that I never noticed from the pre-order photos. It didn't occur to me for a while that these exposed wiring, I was like, oh, she's standing on a part of the Sentinel's head that she ripped off. The paint colors on these, the purple and the weathered purples and blues really bring about the Sentinel vibe from the uh, comics and cartoons. XM has not put out their unboxing video yet, so hopefully this helps you. Um, there's a little groove over here with an exposed magnet that you would almost miss, but that's where this guy goes to and just keys in there. Um, there is one piece that kind of does not make sense. You can move it. This is what's really nice about the detail. This is made of actual wire. They use actual copper wires here. From the pictures, it looks like this piece is somehow supposed to connect here somehow, but there's no magnet and no conjoining part that, um, that actually makes sense how you would connect this piece. There's a lot of these little exposed wiring that they've done in the base that the detail is just really amazing. And if you look, just look at the detail and the paintwork and all the intricate details of the, the basically the destruction of the Sentinel. It's a big peg here that wrote keys into. For trip. I did not expect to really like all these little minute details. The honeycomb texture on the suit and the leather is very similar to what was done on Mystique and Psylocke is kind of like a standard XM texturing. And this is really beautifully sculpted with the shadows and textures. If you are going to do a Gambit hand, they need to do the connect effect. This little, this little paint on the edge is a nice touch compared to what the promo pictures were, where it was just all plain white. This added a little bit, but really you need to have to, you need to have the kinetic effect, the resin or something, just to make it look right. This is the reason I bought this piece. I didn't expect a Colossus hand with Wolverine's bone claws. From the pictures, I really thought it was going to be Colossus Hand and the Bone Claws would be metal adamantium. There are a lot of rogues out there. I really got this one because of this switch out. You either see Rogue in flying pose or smashing something big, but you rarely see her absorb other people's powers in statue. This portrait looks so much, so much better in person than in any video or picture that I've seen. This is really beautiful when you get in hand. This portrait is so well done. The pre-order pictures, if there was a reason for me not to buy this piece, it would have been this portrait. This, this is like the biggest surprise. So this was a pretty short and sweet unboxing overall. There really aren't many pieces, only three switch outs. Like I said, I got this because of this Wolverine and Colossus switch out that I really like. This really is a sleeper guys, a sleeper piece. The, the paint apps, the, the structure, the sculpt, the detail of the destroyed sentinel body. There are a lot of different rogues out there and you can say some are better, some are not. Um, there are different concepts, but I think as far as like from a license statue and what you're gonna get um, bang for the buck perspective, this works for me. I cannot for the life of me figure out where this piece goes from the pictures is supposed to somehow connect over here, but it doesn't. Super quick and simple, guys. Thanks for watching. I wanted to get this video up. Toss a like, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.